Hello. Today I have a old compact laptop. The customer has asked to see whether it would be suitable to upgrade to Windows 10. It's a dual core with AMD graphics. It came with Windows 7. So I predict that it's going to be capable of running Windows 10 as is, but that I will probably find it to be quite slow with the mechanical hard drive and I'll try to I'll probably recommend upgrading to an SSD. I might even try the upgrade to see what the performance difference is so I can report back to the customer. But we shall see. Let me just get it plugged in here. So this has a 500 gigabyte hard drive that is currently using about 45 gigabytes in total. So I could recommend to this customer that he upgrade to a new 250 gig SSD, and that would keep the costs 80 pounds for this computer. I think I'm going to recommend that. I might even go for it. I like to upgrade. If I'm going to recommend doing an SSD upgrade and making loads of other changes, such as installing Windows 10, I like to actually do the clone, clone this hard drive onto a new SSD first, install that SSD, and then do all of the major changes there in case I break something. I've always got the, as the original hard drive to revert to. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'll shut down. This probably won't have secure boot in the BIOS, so I don't have to worry about that. Ooh, that was still trying to load resource monitor. So maybe it's not as fast as I thought it was. The original boot up was impressively fast. But I asked it to open resource monitor about two minutes ago. So let's shut down and swap out the hard drive. I like on this computer, I haven't seen this before on this computer. You have to pop the battery out in order to get to the screw for this panel. And then you have to take this panel out to get to the screw for that panel. So there's no working on the inside while the battery is in. I like that. Unusual SATA connector on this. But, uh, okay, so there's the hard drive. Let's go and clone it. Okay, let's switch over to Partition Wizard and see if we can copy this 500 gigabyte drive onto the MX500. So disk 5 to disk 4. Target is disk 4. We'll have it resize the partitions to fit. I'm not sure why it does this. It makes that system partition a certain size. I mean, I'd rather have this be 100 megabytes. And then move this second partition. I mean, this looks right to me, but um, we'll see. So copy disk 5 to disk 4. Disk 5 is the Samsung hard drive. Disk 4 is our crucial MX500. Go. Whoa, this, this was stuck on, I think unintentionally. Oh no, there's a bit of double-sided 
sticky on there. Now this drive is thicker than the Crucial MX500. So I'm going to use the MX500 spacer. But let's get this on there first. Okay. Customer's old drive away. Yeah, that brings it flush. Let me move things around a little bit here so we can see properly. I was just doing a system file checking, which I often see when doing these SSD upgrades. So I just let it do it just to make sure Windows is happy. After a good start, I'm going to install Windows 10 and Hopefully, this computer will be happy. Okay, unfortunately, I have an error message that says something went wrong, but you can try again. OOB settings multi page. Let's try again, see what happens. Might uh, try to get more of this on the webcam. I'm going to slide this back. Second time's the charm. I was able to get Windows 10 to install correctly and run pretty well in the end. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching.